The Shadow of Tyranny, an introduction. History's pages are stained with the ink of unimaginable cruelty. Throughout the annals of time, certain figures have risen to power, leaving behind a legacy of suffering and despair. These are the dictators, the autocrats who ruled with an iron fist, their names synonymous with terror and oppression. From the heart of Europe to the remote corners of Asia, their regimes cast a long shadow, forever darkening the human story. In this exploration of history's darkest chapters, we delve into the lives and actions of some of the most brutal dictators ever known. Names like Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot and Mao Zedong evoke chills. Their reigns marked by genocide, mass executions and unimaginable human rights abuses. We will dissect the criteria for defining brutality, examining the chilling efficiency with which these regimes extinguished freedom and extinguished lives. Prepare to confront the darkest aspects of human nature. Prepare to witness the devastating consequences of unchecked power. Prepare to remember the millions who suffered and perished under the yoke of tyranny. This is a journey into the abyss, a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present potential for evil to flourish unchecked. Measuring evil defining a brutal dictator. Throughout history, the world has witnessed the rise and fall of many leaders, but few have left a mark as dark and indelible as brutal dictators. What sets a dictator apart from a strict ruler? Is it their policies, their methods, or something more sinister? What elevates their actions from firm governance to outright brutality? The distinction often lies in their unyielding quest for absolute power and control. The answer lies not just in the scale of their atrocities, but in the systematic and deliberate nature of their cruelty. These leaders orchestrate their reigns with meticulous precision, ensuring that their grip on power remains unchallenged. A brutal dictator doesn't simply punish dissent, they seek to crush it entirely, to atomize any opposition and instill a pervasive atmosphere of fear. This fear is not just a byproduct of their rule, but a carefully crafted tool used to maintain their dominance. Mass killings become commonplace, often targeting specific ethnic or religious groups deemed enemies of the state. These acts of violence are not random, but are part of a larger strategy to eliminate any perceived threats to their authority. Human rights are trampled upon with arbitrary arrests, torture and executions becoming routine instruments of control. The legal system is often manipulated to serve the dictator's interests, turning justice into a mere facade. The very fabric of civil society is torn apart as independent thought and free expression are ruthlessly suppressed. Intellectuals, artists and journalists become prime targets as their voices pose a threat to the dictator's narrative. But brutality extends beyond physical violence. It seeps into every aspect of life, creating an environment where fear and oppression are omnipresent. It encompasses the deliberate engineering of famines, the forced displacement of entire populations, and the creation of vast prison camps where human beings are reduced to mere numbers. These actions are designed to break the spirit of the people, making them easier to control. It is the calculated destruction of culture, the rewriting of history, and the indoctrination of youth with a warped ideology that glorifies the regime and demonizes its enemies. By controlling the narrative, dictators ensure that future generations remain loyal to their twisted vision. In short, a brutal dictator wields power not as a responsibility, but as a weapon. Their rule is characterized by a relentless pursuit of personal gain and an insatiable hunger for control. Their goal is not the betterment of their nation or its people, but the preservation of their own power at any cost. They live in opulence while their citizens suffer in poverty, highlighting the stark contrast between the ruler and the ruled. Their legacy is one of trauma, loss and a pervasive sense of fear that can linger for generations. The scars left by their reigns are not easily healed and the memories of their brutality serve as a grim reminder of the depths of human cruelty. The Führer's Fury, Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Nightmare. This chapter delves into one of the darkest periods in human history, a time when the world was gripped by the terror of a man whose name has become synonymous with evil. Few names inspire such instant revulsion and horror as Adolf Hitler. His rise to power and the subsequent atrocities committed under his regime have left an indelible mark on history. The architect of the Holocaust, Hitler's Nazi regime, stands as a chilling testament to the depths of human depravity. The systematic extermination of six million Jews and millions of others is a stark reminder of the potential for cruelty within humanity. Fueled by a toxic ideology of racial purity and Aryan supremacy, Hitler's Germany plunged Europe into a war that claimed over 60 million lives. The devastation wrought by World War II was unprecedented, affecting countless families and reshaping the geopolitical landscape. 
At the heart of Nazi brutality lay the systematic extermination of Jews, Roma, homosexuals and other groups deemed undesirable by the regime. These groups were subjected to unimaginable horrors, from forced labor to medical experiments, all in the name of a twisted ideology. The horrors of the Holocaust, with its death camps, gas chambers and unspeakable medical experiments, remain seared into the world's collective memory. The sheer scale of the atrocities committed is almost incomprehensible, yet it is crucial to remember and honor the victims. But Hitler's reign of terror extended far beyond the Holocaust. His aggressive expansionist policies led to the invasion of multiple countries, resulting in widespread destruction and loss of life. His regime ruthlessly suppressed any form of dissent, imprisoning political opponents, censoring the press, and utilizing a vast propaganda machine to spread its hateful ideology. The control over information and the manipulation of public opinion were key tools in maintaining his grip on power. The Gestapo, Hitler's secret police, instilled terror in the hearts of ordinary citizens, operating with impunity and crushing any hint of resistance. Their methods were brutal and their reach was extensive, ensuring that fear permeated every aspect of life under Nazi rule. The legacy of Hitler's brutality is profound and enduring. The aftermath of his regime saw the world grappling with the enormity of the crimes committed leading to the Nuremberg trials where key figures of the Nazi regime were held accountable. The world was left grappling with the enormity of Nazi crimes, struggling to comprehend how such barbarity could occur on such a scale. The liberation of concentration camps revealed the full extent of the horrors, leaving an indelible impact on those who witnessed it. The scars of World War II and the Holocaust remain, a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the ever-present need for vigilance against hatred and intolerance. Memorials and remembrance events serve as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of never forgetting the lessons of the past. Stalin's Iron Grip Terror and Oppression in the Soviet Union The era of Joseph Stalin's rule over the Soviet Union is one marked by an iron grip of terror and oppression, a period that has left an indelible mark on history. While Hitler's reign of terror was tragically brief, Joseph Stalin's grip on the Soviet Union spanned decades, his brutal rule leaving an indelible mark on the nation and its people. Unlike Hitler, whose tyranny ended with World War II, Stalin's influence persisted, shaping the Soviet Union and its policies for many years. His brutal rule left an indelible mark on the nation and its people. Stalin's regime was characterized by widespread propaganda, which painted him as a benevolent leader while masking the true extent of his oppressive policies. Driven by paranoia, a lust for power and an unwavering belief in his own infallibility, Stalin transformed the Soviet Union into a totalitarian state where fear was the primary instrument of control. His paranoia led him to see enemies everywhere, both real and imagined, and he took extreme measures to eliminate any perceived threats. Stalin transformed the Soviet Union into a totalitarian state where fear was the primary instrument of control. The atmosphere of fear permeated every aspect of Soviet life, from the highest echelons of government to the everyday lives of ordinary citizens. Stalin's paranoia manifested in the Great Purge, a period of mass repression that saw millions arrested, executed or sent to gulags, forced labor camps where conditions were often little better than death. The Great Purge was a systematic campaign to rid the Communist Party, the military and society of anyone who might oppose Stalin's rule. Forced labor camps where conditions were often little better than death. These gulags were notorious for their harsh conditions where prisoners faced grueling labor, inadequate food and brutal treatment from guards. Anyone deemed a threat to Stalin's power, real or imagined, was eliminated from high-ranking party officials to ordinary citizens accused of fabricated crimes. The political trials were often mere spectacles with predetermined verdicts and harsh sentences. From high-ranking party officials to ordinary citizens accused of fabricated crimes, the purges extended beyond the political elite, reaching into every corner of Soviet society, instilling a pervasive sense of fear and mistrust. Beyond the purges, Stalin's policies had a devastating impact on Soviet society. His economic policies, particularly the forced collectivization of agriculture aimed at modernizing Soviet farming, instead led to widespread famine, with millions dying from starvation. His forced collectivization of agriculture aimed at modernizing Soviet farming instead led to widespread famine, with millions dying from starvation. The collectivization policy disrupted traditional farming practices, leading to a catastrophic decline in agricultural productivity, with millions dying from starvation. The famine was not just a result of poor planning, but also a tool of political repression, as food was often withheld from regions seen as disloyal to Stalin's regime. 
The Holodomor, a man-made famine that ravaged Ukraine in the early 1930s, stands as a chilling testament to the human cost of Stalin's ruthlessness. The Holodomor is one of the most tragic examples of Stalin's policies, where millions of Ukrainians perished due to deliberate starvation. Stands as a chilling testament to the human cost of Stalin's ruthlessness. The mass graves and memorials that dot the Ukrainian landscape serve as a somber reminder of this dark chapter in history. Stalin's legacy is complex and contested, while some argue his brutal methods were necessary to industrialize the Soviet Union and defeat Nazi Germany. Others condemn him as a tyrant responsible for the deaths of millions. The debate over Stalin's legacy continues to this day, with some viewing him as a hero who modernized the Soviet Union, while others see him as a villain who caused untold suffering. While some argue his brutal methods were necessary to industrialize the Soviet Union and defeat Nazi Germany, Others condemn him as a tyrant responsible for the deaths of millions. The industrialization of the Soviet Union under Stalin was indeed rapid, but it came at an enormous human cost, with forced labor and harsh working conditions. Others condemn him as a tyrant responsible for the deaths of millions. The protests and movements against Stalin's legacy highlight the enduring pain and trauma caused by his regime. Regardless of perspective, there is no denying the profound impact of his rule which left a legacy of fear, mistrust, and trauma that continues to shape Russia and its neighboring countries to this day. The shadow of Stalin's rule looms large over the former Soviet states, influencing their political and social landscapes even decades after his death, which left a legacy of fear, mistrust, and trauma that continues to shape Russia and its neighboring countries to this day. The remnants of Stalin's era, from statues to buildings, serve as constant reminders of a time when fear and oppression were the order of the day.